Hello and welcome. Today we're talking about dress shoes and specifically whether you should wear colourful bold dress shoes or if you should keep things more restrained. My name is Louis and I'm a classic menswear enthusiast and watch nerd. If you've enjoyed this video please consider liking and subscribing it would really help me out. If you've ever come across the suited traveller on Instagram you will know that he's one of the biggest proponents of colourful patinas and can often be seen sporting blue, green, purple and many more shades with his bespoke outfits. But does it take a certain type of man to pull this off or can the average Joe make it work? The dress shoes you wear are an easy way to stand out from the rest and elevate yourself above the crowd. The average man knows black, he knows brown and he knows tan. But that's as adventurous as he will go. It isn't often you will see someone in the wild wearing colourful dress shoes. Shoes also allow you to show your personality. If you normally only wear plain shoes, then wearing something more daring may feel strange at first. But soon enough you will be getting compliments and you'll be known as that guy that wears the nice shoes. If you are worried about your outfit being too bold, you could pair your jazzy shoes with a more conservative suit if you wear suits or shirt and trousers. Of course, if you want to go all out and wear a dazzling suit too, then by all means, go for it. If you have the basics covered and if you have your blacks and your browns and your tans and you want something a little bit different, then why not grab a pair of colourful shoes? The dress code at my office is smart casual, so I can pretty much wear whatever I like. But if you work in a more professional setting, then perhaps changing the colours of your shoes is not appropriate. And instead, you may consider changing the style, such as wearing a half brogue or something like that in more conservative colours. Alternatively, you may want to consider a pair of two-tone shoes or spectators. Again, it really comes down to your dressing style and the situations you often find yourself in. There are a couple of things to bear in mind, however. The first is that you will want to match your leathers, which means if you wear a belt, you'll want to wear the same colour as your shoes or close enough. The other is the cost per wear. We're talking about shoes that you probably won't wear on a daily basis. And so the price is an important factor when deciding which shoes to go for. In front of me, I have a pair of dress shoes by June London in this gorgeous navy color. A navy shoe is great because at first glance, it may appear to be black, but on closer inspection, people will realize it's navy. This particular pair are unusual too, because not only are they navy, but they combine woven leather with a wingtip brogue, although there is no toe medallion, and contrasting laces. I had to have them as soon as I saw them and got them on a nice discount, of course. In a previous video, I mentioned that June London shoes aren't top quality, but perhaps I was a little harsh because these shoes are okay for the money. Of course, better quality will cost more. I also previously owned a pair of patent leather burgundy double monk straps by a company called Samuel Windsor. Out of the box, they looked fantastic, but I had to return them as the leather was so stiff and they were so uncomfortable, they actually cut my feet. Going forward, I would love to get another pair of burgundy or oxblood double monks, perhaps this pair by Mimin. I also love these olive green derbies by Carla Santos and this outrageous pair of hole cuts by Thomas Bird in this gorgeous plum color. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and opinions. What shoes are you looking to pick up in the near future? Thank you for watching and bye for now.